hot one Jersey man who knows all about comedy and the local scene is Wayne Stewart. Now, he's done some stand-up comedy himself and uh, brings comedians over from the UK to the island to make you laugh, hopefully. Well, he's put together a clean, and he promises me, inoffensive act <laughs> for this afternoon in support of Chris Stone to basically warm you up or cool you down, depending on how it goes. He tells me it is rather bizarre, so without further ado, let me hand you over to Wayne Stewart, everybody. <laughs> Stride. Ain't nothing gonna slow me down. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. That went better than I thought. There you go. <laughs> that was my little intro. Hi, um, I thought I'd come along and do like a little warm up for another of Jersey's well seasoned comedians. Uh, by well seasoned, I mean lightly salted, of course. <laughs> uh, so I thought we'd start with um, a little bit of a warm up activity. Maybe uh, if this, this half of the crowd could give me a cheer. And this, thi well you're on and this half of the crowd give me a cheer. <laughs> that will do. <laughs> so um, yeah, so I've been told I, I'm on live radio, so um, I have to kind of keep it a little bit clean. Um, I'm I had a great joke about Terry Lesueur, a lemon and a sheepdog. But, uh, <laughs> I'm going to have to leave that one out. <laughs> also, for the uh, for the benefit of the listeners. At home, I would like to point out that I am a tall, handsome man <laughs> with an excellent posture <laughs> and an impressive set of genitalia, which I might say is not on show right now. But I will say that right now I am sat atop of a large unicorn. <laughs> Easy boy. <laughs> His name's Disco Biscuit. He gets a little bit overexcited when we're on live radio. <laughs> so, um, anyway, some things that we have to look forward to over the next six minutes. Um, we've got uh, some stationary humour, uh, some poetry. I was going to talk about something that annoyed me, uh, some mime as well. Um, so, yeah, we might start with the, with the mime. I think you'll have to excuse me. I'm a little bit wonky today. Uh, I always say if you on your way to work and you accidentally kill a rabbit, then it's not going to be a good day, especially if you're like me and you walk to work. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I thought I'd do some mime for, just for the radio, I call it narrative mimes. Basically, it's just the narrative. <laughs> I'm sitting down and um, having a cup of tea with my legs crossed. Oh, what's this all around me? I appear to be trapped in a box. I'm trapped in a box, but wait, here's a ladder. I'm climbing the ladder. I'm now out of the box. Thank you, that was my <laughs> narrative mime <laughs> for you. Um, next up, um, I want to talk about something that annoys me, because that's the standard, isn't it? Um, something that annoys me is those, uh, those little leaflets you get in um, boxes of tablets. It's, uh, it's easy enough to take the tablets out, that sheet of tablets. But the, the, the leaflets, they wrap around the sheets and you can't quite get the tablets back in. And the, the leaflet ends up getting crushed at the bottom of the box and all the, all the sheets of tablets are, are like half kind of coming out. And before you know it, you've, you've got a really disorganized medicine cabinet. <laughs> uh, but you, the, the, the obvious solution would be to take that leaflet and just throw it away. But you can't throw that leaflet away because it's the important information. Read before use. Heaven forbid that someone's come around your house and say, oh, I've got a bit of a headache. And then they, they take one of their tablets and then they go into a, an abogalactic shock. I know it's not that word, but they, they have an allergic <laughs> reaction and then they die. And then it's your fault because you threw away the uh, important information. Um, a vague man once told me some stuff. Next up, I'd like to um, try something completely new that I've been working on. Um, this is a cowbell. This is a, a Sharpie. Um, this is what I like to call experimental, poetic, improvised comedy. Or epic, as I like to call it. 
Um, this one is called Seven Flavors. Rainbow over an island. Stick it in your ear. Eyelash on a fox. Stick it in your ear. Leaf on a breeze. Stick it in your ear. Ice cream in a cup. Thank you. Wait, and then the next up, I, I'm not finished. quite finished. I'm going to do, <laughs> I just wanted to just, I wanted to end on a bit of, a bit of humour for the kids, a bit of stationary humour. What did the pencil say to the ruler? This is where I draw the line. What did the ruler say to the pencil sharpener? Look sharp. What did the sharpener say to the glue? Stick to it. <laughs> what did the glue say to the pencil? I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to hand you over to um, uh, our, uh, our next fuzzy funster who's going to do his little bit for us. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Put it together, everybody, for Wayne Stewart. He promised us it would be wacky, and it certainly was. That was absolutely wonderful. Never heard comedy like it. Thank you very much, Mr. Stewart. <laughs>